Hey, what's up, Nerdgasm fans? Welcome to vlog number four. Mmm. So I just finished eating my breakfast. It was uh, four scrambled eggs with a bunch of veggies in there and a little tiny bit of bacon. Um, I'm introducing a little bit more each day as I move forward with this diet. And I drank a huge glass of water. And I'm drinking a cup of coffee. Well, it's not really a cup of coffee as it is an Americano because I just did a whole bunch of shots of espresso and poured hot water in it. Well guys, I'm sorry for that horrible air conditioner sound in the background. This camera, it, the microphone on it picks up all of that. So I need to figure out some ways to edit that out in post. But anyways, let's get down to business, guys. So today, I need to get a lot of shit done. So I need to hold myself accountable. So that's why I'm doing the vlog. Because if I say it here and I don't do it, I'm going to look like an ass, right? So one of the things I need to do today is the Robo 3D printer right here. I broke the thermistor on the print head so it has no idea what temperature the print head is. I have the replacement part. I just need to take it apart, solder it, put it back together. I want to get that done. I also want to get you guys a cool video on these hangers over here. You can see I did all these headphone hangers, so now all my headphones are off the wall. So I want to get that video done. Uh, let's see, what else do we got? Oh yeah, in the simulator back here, guys? Yeah, I need to get the brackets done so I can strap those audio transducers on there. So a um, couple of guys that helped me out a ton, and you can see behind me here, I have 3D models of some brackets for holding the transducer on the Oboto Revolution. And I even have some template prints over here that I'm going to print out on the printer just to utilize very little material to make sure everything lines up and is the right scale. Because I have two guys that are helping me, and they're basically 3D modeling this stuff in other states and other countries, and then sending it to me to 3D print, fit to the simulator. Once everything fits and is connected the way that I want it, then I'm going to send those away to have those models CNC milled from aluminum so that the final parts I get just bolt right on the simulator, put the transducer on, and rumble, rumble, rumble. I think I've counted off four things that I want to accomplish today. Uh, actually, maybe five. Five, I was trying to figure out what to do with this old projector here. This is my uh, LG CF181D HDTV projector. I have this and I have a spare bulb for it. So I was like, eh, instead of selling it, you know what I'm going to do, guys? I'm going to buy one of those 60-inch mono price pull-down screens and I'm going to mount it right up here. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do about the speaker right there yet, but I want to put it across there so that I can pull it down and then I can have a 60-inch screen over the top here and then I'll put the projector over on the ceiling on the other side of the room right here so that I can just turn out all the lights and have a big display. So maybe when I'm doing uh, live streaming and stuff like that, I can have XSplit uh, do the mirror effect where it basically puts exactly what I'm streaming up on the huge screen. I think that'd be pretty badass. What do you guys think? All right guys, so first order of business, we got the template brackets that I'm gonna print out. I'm just gonna use my Ultimaker V1 for right now because we're just printing these at really low quality fast so that we can just check the fitment on the simulator. Hopefully these guys fit. If they do, then we're dead on and my guys that are 3D modeling can create the full brackets. All right guys, let's try and print these brackets here. I actually named the file Daniel, but it was actually John that created these templates. So we're gonna go ahead and print these out. They're gonna be low res and when they're done, we'll see if they fit on the Oboto Revolution. There she goes. A little stringer here. This is so cool. This is the first This is the first time I've actually printed something on the 3D printer that was like designed by somebody specifically for something I have. It's not just a downloaded model from Thingiverse or a modified model. This is like completely scratch made. Very cool. All right, so we're waiting for that thing to print. I'm gonna go ahead and get a little bit of work done. And then hopefully by that time this will be done and uh, we can see if it fits. Multitasking. All right, so I printed a few layers to do a test fit. And I put this up on here and the holes don't quite line up. And I think it was just because he got the scale wrong on the 3D model. He already messaged me, said he's working on a new one. And I also checked this one against the frame down there and it wasn't quite the right size either. But we're getting close, we're getting close. All right, John sent me a new scaled version. I think he fixed the scaling problem now, so I'm just doing a really quick and dirty print here uh, just so we can line it up and see what it looks like. All right, I just got the new template piece from John and I printed it. So here's the butt kicker LFE. Let's go ahead and put it on there. Line up two of the holes. There it is. Looks good to me. Awesome, John. 
All right, well, I'm waiting for John to get back to me with a couple other parts. I'm going to work on the Robo 3D here. So I've got a new thermistor. This is the little piece. You can probably barely see it on the camera there. That's that little itty bitty piece that measures the temperature of the print head while it's printing. And the other one I accidentally broke off. So I got to take this little guy. I got to put some heat shrink tubing on it to protect the wires. So they don't touch each other. And then I just got to solder it up and uh, cement it back on there. And we should be good to go. Well, I'm sitting here trying to fix my Robo 3D, but I have looked everywhere and destroyed the man cave looking for my soldering iron and solder, which I've used heavily over the last couple of weeks. But this is what I get for not putting things back. Hey, do you guys happen to know where I might have put it? Well, I wasn't able to find the solder and the soldering iron I was after, but I found another soldering iron because I got like 12 of everything. And uh, I was able to use the solder that was on the existing wires, but there you have it. The new thermistor is installed right there, and I put some cement on it. In case you guys are wondering, I used a... Uh, fire cement got it from I think it was Amazon um, highly recommended for doing this with 3d printers but now I basically have to wait for 24 hours for it to cure and get everything set up before I can actually print on this printer but I'm just glad that I got it fixed all right John sent me the two templates for the Obodo revolution to put the transducers on there so this is the first one um, and this is for the rear right and this is for the front right I don't know I have to have that in orientation where you guys can see it um, but we're basically gonna see if they line up all right, moment of truth for the rear right. Looks like it's spot on. Look at that. Yeah. You can see the hole through there perfectly. See the hole through there perfectly. We're good. All right, let's check the front here. See if these line up. I wish I already had the bolts and mounting hardware, but it looks good to me, guys. It looks like that all lines up. Rock on. Well, time for some lunch. I'm having some blueberry Greek yogurt, and this used to be a tuna fish sandwich. All right, guys, there's the first bracket that was modeled by uh, John Alvis. I think that's how you pronounce his name. And we are printing it out. Here we go. I mean, how freaking cool is that? I think that's awesome. Got a couple of guys that know how to do 3D modeling. I send them some measurements, put this next to the pictures. The next thing you know, you got freaking CAD models. You take it into NetFab, then you take it into Cura to slice it. You put it on a memory card, throw it in the 3D printer. No. Da ding! You got a real life object. How cool is that? I can't wait to like mount the transducer to it and put it on the simulator and see what it looks like, guys. Man, I just have to stop for a moment and talk about, today 3D printing has hit a whole new height for me. It really has. And that is, I'm sitting on Skype talking to two guys, Daniel and John, and I'm literally just sending them pictures. I know I keep repeating this, guys, but this is just freaking amazing to me. I send them pictures with a ruler next to it. I give them a little information, and they're off in another state and in another country 3D modeling this stuff, sending me an exported STL file, I'm dragging it into Cura, uh, well, fixing it up in uh, NetFab first just to seal it up and make it like a perfect model. Then I take it into Cura, put it on a memory card, walk over there to my 3D printers, and it's printing. They took, I, it just blows my mind. They took pictures that I gave them, and they actually got the holes all lined up, the widths, the sizing, the scale, where everything goes. It all just, just works. I fully expect to take this bracket off the printer stick it right onto the sim and everything's just going to bolt up and they're already working on the other two brackets because they need a bracket for for the rear of the simulator back here and they need a bracket to put a transducer right there in front of the seat to give a total of five and this is just beyond mind-blowing this is like this is a whole new internet age everybody keeps saying that 3d printers are they're not for practical applications in the home they're just for trinkets and they're worthless i get so many people saying this in the comments on my videos but the truth is i just had guys fabricate hardware in another state somewhere completely different and now I'm printing out a prototype and once I once I put the prototype on here and it fits then I can send it to Shapeways or another company I just send them the the design and they print out the final one in metal and mail it to me this this is just all around mind-blowing and now my vlog is gonna be really long because I just had to pause and talk about this because it's just so freaking awesome well, guys, I'm doing a little bit of multitasking right now because I'm finishing Barna Vlog number four right now on this camera while filming this video on this camera, and I love doing this overlap stuff. So, guys, you probably don't have a lot of context because I wasn't recording the whole time, but I'm making a video right now.
but I can let these guys go because I need to get back to the vlog. All right, guys, again, hope you had a nerdgasm. Till next time. And that's a wrap. I thought it'd be fun to show you guys the tail end. So, you know, I'm usually shooting videos in here. You can see I cleaned up the room a little bit. It's kind of dirty over there still, but I cleaned up the room for the most part. And I've got my camera here set up. And if you guys were always wondering about the audio, I have this right here. This is Zoom H4N. Sits on the floor right there and uh, records all my audio. So you guys can see from the video standpoint, this is where the camera was. But uh, yeah, lots going on all the time in here, guys. And then it's the 3D printers. You can see I'm just about done printing the bracket for the Obota Revolution that was created by uh, one of my subscribers named John. And, uh, and Daniel also helped with it. And it's turning out awesome. I can't wait to test fit it to the simulator. If everything works, then I'll be ready to start working on the other two brackets. Once we have everything fitted at the rate it's going, it might be by next week. Um, as long as everything's fitted and I can bolt everything together and it looks exactly the way I want it, we're sending that stuff off to be CNC'd or casted or whatever. We're getting it made in metal and then we're gonna paint it and bolt it on the simulator and it's gonna be by far the coolest thing I've done. Because if you haven't seen that Sim Vibe software, it is amazing. It's amazing, and I'm gonna have five 250 watt max RMS output transducers. My little butt kicker unit that I have on my chair down here, if you guys can see that, that little butt kicker down there, that thing's like 80 or 100 watts. I'm gonna have 10 times that. It's gonna be awesome, it's gonna be awesome. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, look what just finished, guys. Oh, my precious. This is the bracket for the transducer. Let's get this thing pried off, cleaned up, and see if it fits. Well guys, I think that's a wrap. Uh, got everything pretty much I wanted done today accomplished. We got that bracket printed and on the simulator and it fits. Thank you so much to John and Daniel for 3D modeling that. Still just blows my mind. I could just send them some pictures with a ruler next to it and they were able to whip that up and it just prints and fits. Go 3D printing. And uh, we went ahead and got all the headphones hang hung up on the wall. I wanted to do that. And then the final thing I really wanted to get done was uh, to fix my Robo 3D. And I did that. I'm just waiting for the cement. Uh, the setup on the heat on the print head so that it's all heat and thermally sound so tomorrow I should be able to start printing on that so uh, today was a good day well guys let me know if you're enjoying these vlogs these are actually a lot of fun to make I like it I just pick up the camera hit record say whatever I want and walk around and, and have fun and go about my business and sometimes it even intertwines with other videos that I'm making and stuff like that so it might be kind of cool to watch this and then watch the actual video where I was focused on just that I don't know you guys know what you like I don't know what you like so um, leave me comments it helps helps me uh, sorry if I'm a little punchy right now it's 11 p.m. I've been going all day and this diet actually makes me kind of tired, which on the diet, I didn't even touch on that in this this vlog. What the hell am I doing? I'm down to, two, I'm teetering on 275, 274 this morning. So a total loss of 15 pounds so far. The weight loss has slowed way down now, all the easy weights off. So now it's just a matter of losing probably like a pound every two, three days. And, I, and I'm cool with that. So, and I'm having no problem staying on the diet right now. Every once in a while, my wife uh, gives me a cheat day, but she makes me work for it. So it's, it's awesome. This is working really good. So guys, I'm signing off. This is Barnavlog number four. Now I'm going to go sex up the wife and go to bed. All right, later. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, favor, and subscribe. It helps me a bunch. Also, come follow me on Facebook and Twitter. I love interacting with you guys.